trying to stop shut down the stock market and uh, shut down Wall Street um, I would say to that point we did not succeed in the way we wanted to but we definitely made it really 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 hard for them to get to work and get around Wall Street um, and there was a short delay um, so we took that as a victory you know um, they're uh, pretty much uh, my favorite story and I guess you can tell your favorite story from that point um, was when we were all trying to come together on Wall Street to pretty much shut down the streets, but they had us separated by four corners. Um, the barricades. police and barricades. And um, it, it, it was kind of, it, it was inspiring seeing everybody flooding from every different angle, but I love being with my family. So I was just like, I want us, we need to get together. We need to get together. And I'm, I'm yelling and screaming, trying to, communicate with with all four corners of the Wall Street and um, I guess one other guy on the other end uh, had the same idea so after maybe about uh, 30 minutes of a little bit of confusion and yelling and screaming we all got on the same page uh, all four corners um, they, they use like a generation system on their mic check because there's so many people there instead of instead of mic check once and you repeat you mic check then the next group might check, and the next group might check, and the next group might check. And when that last group's finished, then you start the next part of your message so everyone can hear. So after we practiced this a few times, um, and we got it going, you should saw the looks on the cops' eyes because they saw us coming together, and they saw the communication getting together, and they felt the energy and the energy uh, coming. And then um, mm -hmm. from that point, uh, we decided, like, you know, we need to come together. like forget this spot, just all go and move to a, uh, another spot and just seeing all the bodies flood out of there, just like, you know what, we're done with this part. Let's get together with our family and then we'll tackle our next project. You want to tell your My favorite part? story was, this is, this was my, um, it was my first mass protest and I was expecting a lot of people, but at the same time I thought, eh, 7 a.m., you know, it might be me and a couple hundred other people. Wrong. <laughs> it was me and a couple thousand other people and um, I, I went into the situation thinking all right I, I really need to be careful I don't know any of these people I, I'm with a very small group I don't know how these other protesters are going to be acting and at, at Wall Street we were marching around the block and every time we would move from one spot we would the cops would grab a barricade off a truck and put it down so we couldn't move from that spot. So, I mean, we were gradually getting more and more confined and it hit me all of a sudden that like these people I'm with are not the people I need to protect myself from. It's the people who are supposed to help me and keep me safe that are really going to, to fuck my shit up. Um, and I just remember this I must have had this like look of terror on my face once I realized I was towards a barricade and people, we were in a line and people were moving left to right um, as these barricades were going up and I thought that I had room to like maneuver and make space but there was a barricade like at my hip and I realized there was nowhere to go. There's a line of cops who's putting down their riot masks or their their masks on the helmets and um, getting their batons out and this couple looks at me and goes no it's okay it's okay don't worry we're gonna help you if you need it and it was just like I almost started crying I'm gonna cry now because it was just like you know we were all in it together and um, you know it felt like we were the only sane people in the world <laughs> at that point but yeah it was just really inspiring and then, of course, um, after 
they had, we were on um, Wall Street and Pine Street, and we were at the four corners of the sidewalk, and we decided that wasn't really working because we couldn't go anywhere. So we all go to Zuccotti Park, march over there, and um, it had been barricaded off. But a bunch of really brave people lifted the barricades. Everyone flooded into the park. The cops, I mean, there's, they were everywhere. And they were trying to get barricades up. And people wouldn't let them. And, you know, it was this huge struggle. But all of us got into the park. Granted, we were barricaded in the park. <laughs> but we were all in the park. And then, um, like, so much stuff started happening. There was a dance party with confetti. <laughs> it was so awesome. Chris and I were like standing up on this um, concrete structure and we both just look over at each other and we were like, we need to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it was just, it was awesome. Later in the day, um, there was a subway outreach project um, where they were gonna be using people's mic on the subway. Um, the, the group that went um, got, I think, maybe two subway stops down before the cops made them reroute and go somewhere else. Um, so I think that was that was kind of a bummer. Um, but then the the big huge thing I think the most reasonable estimate I've heard is about 50,000 people um, that night came and met in Foley Square. There were bands, speakers, um, organizers, I mean everything, and we all marched uh, on the Brooklyn Bridge. And I mean that was pretty, pretty incredible. Yeah, uh, Foley Square, that was um, their, their ended event of the day. It was Foley Square Day of Action uh, Rally. They had a, a lot of unions there, people who were participating in all the events throughout the city the whole day there were there. Yeah, there was a student walkout in uh, NYU and a few of the other schools around. A bunch of students decided not to go to class and not to participate in school. And over 2,000 students uh, joined in with the Day of Action, walked out of class, joined us on the streets, and came to Foley Square. Gorgeous. Like, wow. uh, I remember we got there a little early. Um, and there were maybe a couple thousand people there at that point. We were just like, uh, okay, this is a good showing. Like, you know, we're kind of used to the Richmond showings. 2,000 people is amazing, you know? We were just like, okay. And maybe five minutes later, we look around us and there's tens of thousand people flooding into the square just from everywhere. And we're just like, whoa. And when we think it could get no larger, the, the huge school protest comes in and another huge group of people. So again, about 50,000 people in the Foley Square music, speakers, everyone just loving, having a good time, sharing their stories. Of course, we represent Richmond, and um, we got lots of great pictures from uh, the media all over, and uh, we learned a lot of uh, new chants. And a Chris lot and of, I danced on a song. There was a lot of dancing going on. <laughs> um, I, I think the most empowering part is when we were ready to take the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, there were so many of us and the cops were barricading us off from going that way. They were just like, no, this is not happening. So um, as we were waiting to try to get through the barricade, uh, we just saw maybe four or five uh, school bus full of people they were arresting at the front of the line. They were trying to make it through the barricades. They were arresting them, shipping them off, arresting them. And we're just cheering on our family, just like, oh, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Then. Uh, I heard a police officers having a conversation on the side. It's just like, we just can't keep doing this all night. Like, we got to let them through. Like, it's 50,000 of them, you know. And they, so the barricades came off, and we started marching. We took the Brooklyn Bridge. The whole Brooklyn Bridge. We, we did not get on the, the roadway. We were on the, the overpass. The overpass. Uh, some people did concerns. get on the roadway, yeah, but there were, there were some safety bus. Yeah. concerns. There were a lot of safety that. concerns, but um, <laughs> we took the bridge, but we had a lot of support from the people riding um, below Tons us. Tons of and, support. Um, it, it was beautiful. We walked all the way across the Brooklyn Bridge, and we marched back uh, to a huge, Z, a huge GA in Zuccotti Park. Um, 
their GAs ran a lot different from ours. Um, we talked to a lot of people there to get, try to get a lot of good ideas maybe to bring back uh, with us, but their GA has ran more like a soapbox throughout their GA. And their decisions are made in bodies, uh, kind of like our work groups, but they have council that take their sales off, different councils to make to kind of make the decisions um, in the, those groups and bring it back to GA after all the little details are worked out through that councils. Because really, if they had a GA, it probably would be easily a uh, 12 to 24 hour GA just for the amount of people they have there. And um, But it, it was really beautiful, really inspiring. We have a lot of great ideas, um, a lot of new chants um, to kind of bring back to use for some of our protests. So, you know, you're probably hearing us yell out some of those later yeah. on. And um, just, uh, and I, I would just love to. An amazing experience. I would love to write some of our some new chants for us, like because we got a lot of good ideas from oh, them. Um, good idea. And I know I don't know if any of you saw on the news uh, where uh, I guess a, a group, they were an unidentified group, uh, on the side of some of the larger government buildings near the Brooklyn Bridge, were projecting, uh, yeah. "We are the 99 percent. We love you." Did they do it on the Horizon Rush. building? Yeah, yeah it was on the Horizon. Horizon building. Richmond so came up. Uh, Occupy Richmond had a projection up yes. on, it, on the wall. And, uh, but the great thing about the Verizon building is, if you guys are familiar, you can see it. You can you could see those projections from the bridge, and if you had really good eyesight, from Brooklyn. Yeah, that's oh. a, like huge. It's a huge building, and I mean, one projection was probably 20 feet, maybe bigger. Um, there's a great picture. I wish Ron was here. He got a great picture. It was a circle, 99%, and then the four of four of us just standing in front of it like <laughs> but um no and then like as we were marching um they had uh they had projections on other buildings um on broadway like don't worry keep going do not be afraid do not be afraid like i mean really the organizers did such a good job of being like you know we're all gonna get here don't worry stay safe like things ran so smoothly I mean I think it's it's really really huge that out of all of the injuries all of the complications none of them were caused by protesters no one got hurt like with 60,000 people yes. that almost never happens you yeah. know and out of 60,000 people there were only uh, 200 people detained um, so oh. That, that was beautiful. Like, as much as some people may or may not like the police, the New York, New York PD, for the most part, did a really good job at keeping it safe, keeping it very smooth. Actually, a lot of them were keeping it very positive. We had some great conversations. Even when we were on the Brooklyn Bridge, like, uh, a few of the police officers came up on the bridge with us, and they were just like, you know, how can we assist you to make this, you know, make this run as smooth as possible? Which part of the bridge do you want us to block off right now? Like, they, they were really amazing, most of them, for the part. You know, obviously, when tensions are high, there are going to be a few butt heads. But again, for the most part, we were there to be peaceful. We were there to have a great time. We were there to love. And we were there to learn. And uh, uh, I got uh, signatures from almost everybody I talked to um, and when we were on the bridge and back in Zuccotti Park. And uh, they, they send their love. They, you know, send their hearts with them from Zuccotti Park and New York. And a lot, there are a lot of good eyes um, on Richmond. Um, great conversations going on there about Richmond, about what we're doing. They love this idea. <laughs> yeah, everybody's out there. They cool. love this idea. They were just like, if they could be this close to Mayor uh, Bloomberg, uh, then I would, they, you know, they'd be shitting their selves. Like, pretty much. Like, you know, sorry, but, um, so there's like, they keep their eyes on this, keep up the good work, they say, you know, come visit anytime. They're going to try to send some people down to visit, like, um, Ron uh, talked to a couple of their media team members and some of their legal members. So they're with us. They're with the solidarity and like, you know, spread the love. Yeah. The they also, I thought it was really awesome is once I said, um, I'm from Richmond, they were like, oh my God, yeah, your camp got bulldozed. And I was like, yeah, that's right. They did. And they were like, yeah, it's fucked up. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but it was awesome. Like they, they, knew um our struggles like our plans for this occupation like they heard of us it was awesome it was really really awesome um so yeah they had so many good ideas we talked we were able to talk to a lot of different work groups um and 
I think because they have so many people, like I'm with Safer Spaces, um, and that that group, like the, the job of Safer Spaces is broken up into like six work groups, different work groups in New York, so I don't think that's something that we probably need to do, but it's just really interesting um, to hear what, what they've done with different groups that's been successful. Um, and yeah, I mean, everybody was just so amazing. They, a lot of people have been displaced um, after the park was raided, but they've got a shuttle system going for shelters, rec centers, churches, places where people can stay. And um, we also ran into, do you remember Eleanor Finley and Ellen? Yeah, yeah. yeah we ran into them. Um, Eleanor Finley was actually, she did a soft block at Wall Street. So she was arrested, but she's doing well. Um, Owen's doing great. They're loving it up there. So I, I told them that we miss them and give Eleanor our support. Um, yeah, I just got a text from your yesterday saying, uh, I just got a jail. So I guess she was saying, I just got out of jail. I don't know, she just like overnight or something? Yeah, yeah, okay. that's what Owen said that she was gonna be there through the night. Um, Cause they, they were having trouble processing everybody, but I, I have also heard that she's she's been released now, um, which is awesome. And yeah, good for her. If you guys have any questions or want to know anything, just um, yeah. Okay, finish. For no, I was just gonna say you can. Um, we'll take a couple questions now, and then we're gonna give up the space to someone else. So we're not taking too much time. Yeah. How's the barrels? The separate barrels. Did you get any other barrel except? Oh, Manhattan? burrow, yeah. burrows. Yeah. Um, Harlem. Harlem. It's not a borough, um, technically, but they've got an awesome occupation. Um, it's really strong. They actually, they expanded on the subway direct action to occupying the subway, and that went well. Um, they, Harlem has been hit really hard with police brutality, mass arrests. Yeah. I mean, I think that, that ties in with a lot of other, like, factors um, concerning social justice and how hard it's been for them versus other occupies. Um, but they've got a really good showing. Um, I've heard something about an Occupy Queens. I cannot <laughs> confirm that. It's, I personally find that kind of funny, but um, uh, yeah, those are the only, I mean, Occupy Wall Street is yeah, like- There was, um, there was a, a GA held that night in, Brooklyn. Um, I don't know bridge, how yeah. active they are as an occupation, but uh, they had a huge GA in Brooklyn that Gabby and Alex went to yeah. while we were at the GA in Zuccotti Park. So, um, There's a lot of great places in camp in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. We were walking through and I was like, whoa, I want this park. Oh, I want that park. Why can't we have this in here? Oh, we met a girl. We were there. We met this girl. She just pitched a tent in the sculpture garden of Brad. Oh my god. It was just like practicality. She was just living there. Just looking for it. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Of but I, I think all of the boroughs are really active. Um, actively participating. And it seemed like people from all different places in New York were at Wall Street. Um, I don't know if there are, I can't speak to any like, you know, specific, specific, other than Harlem, just because they're so focused, yeah. And one statement that, um, one thing that I would have to say, a lot of people give us, <coughs> I guess, a hard time because they say that we're a movement of uh, younger people and college age students. I would not have been able to tell that up there at all. There were yeah. people from all walks of life, all, all different ages. types of ages. It's, it was not a movement of young people by any means. It was a movement of the people what we're about, you know. Um, it, it was gorgeous just to see the diversity. all different the diversity, like all across the board up there, from little kids all the way up to uh, you know one of the speakers. Like I'm an old lady, and we're about to sing a song. You know, <laughs> her choir got up there and sang uh, a, a, a song. You know, um, it, it was amazing. It was, it was like you know. How many people did you run into that? We're like you guys from a totally different state occupation. Um, especially on the march, like, uh, 
I, I mean, I couldn't even put a number on it. Like most people, we would ask, oh, are you from New York? And they would say, no, I'm from Connecticut. We met people from Richmond, Ohio. <laughs> that, there was some confusion. We went to a grocery store and I heard someone mention Richmond and I was like, are you from Richmond? And they were like, yeah, are you? And I was like, yeah. And it became very clear that we were from two different Richmonds. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, there were, um, I was interviewed by two French journalists who came over. Um, uh, I was walking next to a couple from Surrey, England. Um, I mean, everywhere, yeah, everywhere. Uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Florida, North Carolina, uh, West California. Virginia, Tennessee, California. A few people from Oakland we spoke to who mm -hmm. moved from Oakland to New York after the raid. Um, uh, where, uh, Indiana, I spoke to some people from Indiana. I mean, just all, all over. And um, it really was like a national day of action right there in New York. Just, it, you, you can turn it. Everyone was there willing to tell, willing to tell their story, mm -hmm. willing to talk to you, willing to give you a hug, you know. I think the only, um, <laughs> the, the only mean people we met <laughs> were on the subway. Uh, coming into New York, you know, we're all excited, oh, we're yeah. from Richmond, um, and there was a guy kind of sleeping on the line, we're all excited talking about what we're going to do, and, you know, he was like, oh, I'm trying to sleep here, I'm trying to sleep here, like, what are y'all talking about, y'all, to get it, to get it, you know, we got off the, you know, we were walking off the train, it's like, thank goodness, you know, like, he, he was, that was the only mean person, That's right? the everyone, only else mean was, person. Like, everyone else is awesome, you know, yeah. really was. Well, thank you guys. We missed you we when we were out there. Like, you know, we had fun up there, but we, we, we missed you all a lot. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. You know, yeah, thank you for sharing that with us. It's beautiful. <laughs>